Hi guys! Welcome to Ride Alive! In today's video, we are going to talk about how I clean my Honda PCX150, to keep it looking clean and shiny. Whenever I'm on my bike, in a public place, I always get complimented for having an amazingly polished scooter. They often ask me how I do it, or what cleaning products I'm using to make my bike look this clean. For the Honda PCX150, maintaining the gleamy look is one part of the challenge, the other part is removing the water marks or acid rain on the black plastic parts of the fairing. Six months after I had my Honda PCX, it already looked old because, the black plastic parts had water marks all over them. I didn't know how to take care of it, so, I tried a lot of products, until recently, I zeroed in on what I consider as the perfect cleaning combination to make my PCX always looking shiny. So, without further ado, let me show you how I do it right now. Here are the things I am using to clean my Honda PCX. First, the Bosch Aquatec 100. I bought this during a sale in Lazada. It's an all-around outdoor cleaning pressure washer. It comes with a 360-degree spray gun that can be angled to clean hard to reach areas. It also has a shampoo dispenser. And a 3-meter hose. It's a highly effective pressure washer at such a low cost. The 3-meter hose is too short so I bought a 6-meter extension from the same online store. Pro Tip if you decide to purchase a Bosch Aquatec, know this. First, the spray gun is sensitive, so don't drop it. Second, make sure the hose you will be using is clean and free from moss. The moss or any type of dirt will clog, and eventually ruin the nozzle. Third, the Bosch Aquatec 100 is self-priming. However, please make sure the flow of water is continuous. Never turn it on, and squeeze the trigger without flowing water as it would damage the motor. On the plus side, the unit has a warranty and Bosch will replace the unit should there be any factory defects. The Bosch Aquatec 100 pressure washer is an option. If you do not have it yet, a simple hose connected to your faucet will suffice. One advantage the a pressure washer has is that it can thoroughly clean the unreachable areas of your scooter. By the way, when using a pressure washer to clean your Honda PCX, please make sure you are aware of two very important locations that should never be directly sprayed on. One is the computer box. It's right at the front, it's slightly to the left, under the headlight module. Second, the ECU or the electronic control unit. Although the ECU is housed in an aluminum casing, the socket isn't. Directly spraying on the ECU could potentially dislodge or damage the socket. A damaged or dislodged socket can cause shortage or socket burning. As a result, your PCX could malfunction. So, again, do not directly spray on it. The location of the ECU is on the right side, towards the center, very close to your inner thigh when you are seated on the your PCX. It's actually covered by the fairing, so, it's a little hard to reach. Then again, this is just a heads up, and a friendly warning to never directly spray water on these two essential areas of the PCX. The second tool in my cleaning arsenal is the Black & Decker 600 Watt Blower. I also bought this during a sale in Lazada. It's very convenient to use and it allows me to dry out of the way corners without breaking a sweat. It's a variable speed blower, with a variable speed controller, a large trigger with a lock button, and it could also function as a vacuum if needed. If washing the scooter is pretty quick with the Bosch Aquatec 100, drying it is a breeze, with the Black & Decker blower. Again, this is just an option. If you do not have a blower, a Xiaomi cloth will do the trick. To be honest, I do not have a problem washing and drying my scooter the old-fashioned way. The only reason why I'm using these power tools is because I have a severe lower back problem. Some additional items I am using to help me clean the scooter, is of course, the Xiaomi cloth. A microfiber cloth with handle. A flexible semi-hard bristle brush. And some microfiber cloth. Now, let's talk about the cleaning products I am using. First in the list is a car shampoo. Any car shampoo will do. The only reason why I prefer this one is because of the fragrance and the foam. If I don't have a car shampoo, I simply use a Joy dishwashing liquid. Second, is the Magic Goddess. Magic Goddess, or Magic Milk, is a locally made water-based all-purpose protectant for cars, helmets, and motorcycles. It doesn't have a strong chemical smell, and is safe to use on either matte or glossy, inner or outer fairings, mags, crankcase, stainless parts, and even the dashboard. You know why I love the Magic Goddess? It's affordable. It's available in most motorcycle shops. And, the shine lasts for at least two weeks. Magic Goddess is a recent discovery for me. 
Before this, I tried using the Turtle Wax Carnava. I also tried the VS1. I stopped using them because of the strong chemical smell, and the fact that VS1 is an aerosol spray. Something I am very particular with because, I have a daughter who has frequent allergy attacks. Magic Goddess, being water-based, works well for me. As I've said, it's affordable, accessible, and it's effective in keeping my Honda PCX shiny for days. Magic Goddess is very simple to use. However, you will be needing two fiber cloths. The first one is used to spread the wax after you spray it on the fairy. The second cloth will be used to thoroughly buff and shine it. Just a tip. After spraying and spreading the Magic Goddess, leave it for 5 to 10 minutes. Then buff to your heart's content. To avoid scratching the surface of your fairings during the buffing process, make sure the cloth you are using is clean. Let's talk about another crucial part of cleaning the motorcycle fairing. How do you remove the white water marks on the black parts? I tried VS1. I tried Magic Goddess. I also tried Turtle Wax. The problem? The white marks kept coming back. One day, while having my PCX serviced at the Casa, I happened to share that I have an issue with water marks. They suggested that I should try the 3 Bond 6604 Leather Wax. The 3 Bond 6604 Leather Wax is a dual-purpose car and motorcycle care product. It can serve as a gloss for leather, rubber, and plastic. Once applied, it helps slow down deterioration and maintain the brand new look for several days. Since I started using the 3 Bond 6604, I haven't had any issues with white water mark on the black areas of the PCX fairings. In short, the product works as advertised. You know what the only downside to this product is? It's aerosol. The 3 Bond 6604 is actually a leather wax and restorer. But, in my several weeks of using it, I found that it works well in maintaining the black sections of the Honda PCX fairings. It works better than VS1 or the Magic Goddess. If you are looking for a wax that permanently deals with watermarks, the 3 Bond 6604 is highly recommended. So, there you go folks. The secret to maintaining a shiny Honda PCX is just Magic Goddess. And the solution to the white water marks is the 3 Bond 6604 Leather Wax. I'm pretty sure there are other products out there that are as effective as these two. So, if you know of any brands, please let me know in the comments so all of us can try them out. As always, thank you for watching this short video. And I hope you learned something today like I did. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and share it to your friends. If you found the channel helpful and informative, please subscribe. The simple act of subscribing to the Ride Alive channel is a tremendous help for a struggling YouTuber like me. Thank you. And see you on the next one. Ride safe. Ride alive. Arrive alive.